okay guys if you've seen my previous two videos uh, i've been talking about how to select a bike and in the next video i spoke about the things you need to keep in your mind before upgrading your bike and in this particular video i will be talking about how to uh, do a proper engine run-in or engine break-in both are one and the same the reason i'm making these videos are because when i started out when i wanted to get a bike actually like two years back i couldn't find a proper video explaining about all these things how to break in your engine how to select a bike basically there were a few videos online but the problem was these were foreigners and the problem with that is their scenarios are completely different from our indian scenario right their environment is different so whatever they're suggesting may not go well with the indian environment the mentalities don't match keeping that in mind i made these videos maybe you know some of you who are planning to get new bike maybe these videos will help you guys anyways coming to the point i would be talking about three things in this video the first thing will be about what is engine break-in the second point will be about how to do it and the third point the most important one do you actually need to do it I wanted to talk about this point because there's actually a lot of argument going on. Uh, some people say engine break-in and all this is a myth. I wanted to make it clear. So what is engine break-in? Let's assume you bought a brand new bike. So it obviously comes with a brand new engine. It's got like absolutely zero miles in it or almost zero miles in it. So basically an engine is nothing but you know a composition of a number of moving parts in it these small parts move at a very high speed these parts are new and fresh they have a lot of friction between them so they need to you know sit in properly these parts need that final adjustments take the shape and size and lock in bond properly so that they function smoothly with precision and smoothen the friction that may exist in between these parts so for example take a piston and a bore what happens is uh, the walls of the bore might be rough because it's new and the piston surface might also be rough so there will be some friction in between this needed to be removed the process of removing this friction the process of making everything work as they should is nothing but engine break-in which gets me to talk about how does that happen? How do you do that? It's a very simple thing. As a standard rule of thumb, maintain the engine RPM below a recommended level. So it depends on the type of engine you have, the capacity of engine, and it also depends on a number of other factors. So the best way to know this number is by referring to the instruction manual or uh, talking to your dealer. So if you talk about my bike, that is a 600i, and the recommended uh, RPM is around 6000 RPM. Do not cross 5000 to 6000 RPM during the run-in period. Also, it is better to start an engine uh, five minutes before you take the bike out because it's always a good practice to uh, warm up the engine before taking it onto the roads. It will ensure that the uh, you know consumables like the engine oil, the coolant and all that gets to the required parts of the engine. Keep it on for a few minutes and you can get the best performance out of your engine. So what I do is I switch on the engine, just leave it for some time, uh, maybe five to eight minutes. Uh, meanwhile, I, I keep wearing my shoes. Anyways, after the engine has warmed up, the next thing is you can take the bike out obviously but remember to ride it in a very smooth fashion don't rev it like too hard just keep it smooth keep it slow and steady don't do any unnecessary revs don't stop suddenly at least for the first 1500 to 1600 kilometers these are like the most crucial kilometers of your bike's life but one more important thing guys don't maintain a constant engine speed okay you need to keep varying the engine's rpm but again not rapidly so basically this is it this is how you break in your engine it's nothing more than this it's very simple now i've come across a lot of people who say that um, run-in is not required i have a few friends who have directly bought the bike from the showroom and on the same day they rev the engine like crazy and also reach 160 k mph and all that and after one or two years the bike is still perfect no problems uh, they got their engines checked and all that they're absolutely fine no drop in mileage no drop in performance but i would say they're just lucky or maybe the engine that they got was refined as much as possible it was made to perfection they didn't even have those marginal errors i would say they're just a lucky lot However, if you ask me, I would definitely suggest you to do the engine break-in properly, follow all the things that I mentioned and also uh, you can talk to your uh, dealers, mechanics and learn about the engine break-in because each bike has a different method to follow. Like I said, the Benelli 600 has a 6000 RPM mark, a KTM might have another number. Also guys, you might find this information in your instruction manual. One second. Uh, 
I'm searching for the instruction manual. I don't know where the hell did I keep it. Me? Okay, I found it. See, when you don't find something, you ask your mom, it'll just appear. This is it. Okay guys, so this is the official Benelli's owner's manual. I'll just show you what the Benelli recommends. Running and important running and information, page three. All right, so it says, I hope you can see this. The focus is not that clear. Anyways, running in information for a motorcycle. Okay guys, hear this out clearly. The first 1600 kilometers are most important in the life of your motorcycle. Proper running and operation during this time will help ensuring maximum life and performance for your new motorcycle. Benelli's parts are manufactured, blah, blah. All this is not required. Okay, please refer to the running in section for specific running in recommendations. So there is another chapter on this. Okay, go to page 37. Okay, let me adjust the focus for you. It says break in, running in. I told you right, both are one and the same. All right, this section explains how important proper break-in is to achieve maximum life and performance from your new bike. Okay guys, I'll just give a gist of what is here. Maximum throttle opening recommendations. Okay, initial 1000 kilometers below 5000 RPM up to 1600 kilometers below 8000 RPM. So there are like two variations here. Upon reaching an odometer of 16, okay, basically what this says is uh, you cannot subject your motorcycle's throttle to, to its fullest level for the first 1600 kilometers. However, do not exceed 11,000 RPM at any time. And next, avoid constant low speed. Okay, this is what I was talking about. And okay, let me tell you why. Operating the engine at constant low speed, light load can cause parts to glaze and not seaten. Okay, that is the reason you avoid a constant low speed. I didn't know that. By the way, I'm just reading all this now. I never read all this information. Allow the engine oil to circulate before riding. This is also what I told you guys. I told you that uh, you need to warm up your engine before it. So allow sufficient idling time after warm or cold engine startup before applying load or revving the engine. This allows time for the lubricating oil to reach all critical engine components. So that's about it. And one more important point here, Observe your first and most important 1000 km service. 1000 km service is the most important service your motorcycle will ever receive. During break-in procedures, all the engine, okay, that's not required. So that's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, please hit the like button if you like this video or if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It means a lot to me. Also guys, I'm pretty active on Instagram nowadays. I'll put my Instagram's uh, username right here. Please do check it out and please do share some love there. Anyways guys, so see you soon with another video. Till then, take care and please protect this. Wear a helmet.